I'm gonna bring you an update on the GY6 video that I originally did. So GY6, no start, runs poorly, bogs. Check this video out. I already have a video up, but this is gonna be an updated version. Take you through the steps quicker. Always a good thing to have the foundation right. Once you know you have fuel, you're gonna check for fuel at the carb. So I'll take you through that process. Remove your seat and all that stuff. Uh, watch the other video if you're confused about that. You're gonna find the line that fills the bottom of the carb from the fuel regulator. Pull that line off from the bottom of the carb and then you're gonna see me here. I'm kicking the bike because my electric start was not working and I'm looking, checking to make sure fuel is flowing through that fuel regulator. Common problem, these things break and fuel will not be able to go through there. Then once you know you have fuel at the carb, you're gonna check to make sure you have spark. You're gonna pull that spark plug boot, take your spark plug, put it on the spark plug boot, ground that out and look for spark. If you have spark and you have fuel, then you're gonna proceed to check for intake leaks um, by spraying the carb clean around the intake boot and around the carburetor. If your bike is not starting, remove the rear uh, intake boot off the back of the side of the carb. Spray the carb clean directly in there while you're trying to start the bike. Bike should start. If you're just struggling with poor running, spray it around this area with that boot connected and uh, see if the scooter runs better. If it does, then you have an intake leak around that intake manifold right there. It's super common. As you see here, I'm spraying it everywhere and you'll hear the bike kind of bog out. That's because it's brake clean. then you have some other issue. The valves, or there's internal damage in the engine. Is This is the intake line. This provides vacuum to that fuel regulator. Somehow my line just got routed where it's running right along this post that holds the nut that holds the seat down. So as soon as you install the seat, it pinches this close restricts vacuum to the fuel pressure regulator and all of a sudden you have your carb runs out of gas and your scooter won't start and all you did was install the seat and you're kicking yourself you don't know what's going on so take this line and reroute it route it underneath that mounting post for the seat it is not a bad idea to tighten this clamp almost all the way down Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like it, say so. No whining though. Do your own work.